My colleague Ashutosh is also joining us uh, this morning. He's been tracking all those uh, developments uh, in the region. Ashutosh, what more do we know from uh, the Israeli side in terms of their preparedness after these uh, attacks uh, from the Iranian soil? Well, Netanyahu just had a word with the U.S. Uh, president informing him about the current situation. In fact, Biden is also uh, back to White House. So clearly the U.S. is keeping a very close eye. I remember in the Mediterranean, their uh, uh, brigade, the naval brigade is already in the existence uh, uh, with uh, everything that is required logistically. And they have uh, extended support uh, uh, to the Israelis' uh, defense forces. But for now, the Israelis all are planning uh, to retaliate on this. Remember, this all comes in a light on the uh, Israel attack in Syria, in Damascus, on the Iranian embassy, where the uh, General Raza Zehadi, one of the top IRGC commander, was killed in the Israeli attack. And since then, uh, Iran had announced that they will uh, take revenge of this, uh, they will retaliate on this. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. even 48 hours ago, there was an announcement made by Iran uh, that we are in the last phase of uh, are taking that decision while there have been appeal from several middle east countries and also even u.s warning to iran do not uh, uh, take a step ahead but this ignoring all these uh, warnings iran iran uh, did fire long-range uh, missiles remember the distance between iran and israel more than a thousand kilometers so clearly it's not the, exactly the rockets that were being used uh, by the hamas but it was uh, the long ballistic missile that uh, the iran has fired uh, uh, from iranian territory uh, to israel for now what we're also hearing the jordan king has also agreed to give their air airspace uh, uh, to the israeli authority in case of there's a retaliation by Israel. So clearly, this is uh, more volatile than what we have seen uh, uh, during Hamas and Israel war. And Sushant Sarin is clearly accounting uh, on the repercussion and the consequences on the uh, geopolitics and the global trade and of course uh, on the human being normally because Israel we have seen kind of literally decimated Hamas mm -hmm. over 7 September incident and this time it will be Israel which will be retaliating to Iran but clearly right. there will be certain even at the moment including Syria, Jordan and some countries so this is just the first phase of the escalation between these two powerful nations. Right. Ashutosh, stay on with us. Our foreign affairs editor, Geeta Mohan, is also joining us this morning. Good morning to you, Geeta. Geeta, uh, how do you, of course, uh, read the situation, the way it is escalating, something which was anticipated, but it has larger ramifications as well for the region? Well, uh, it is a major escalation, like you rightly pointed out, Polymy. For now, what Iran has done has uh, lobbed uh, uh, drones or has launched drones against uh, Israeli targets. And uh, uh, with the Iron Dome itself, we know that uh, a lot of the drones have breached the Iron Dome, the Israeli airspace. Uh, there are m minor damages that they're saying, but the major damage is not to infrastructure per se, but to how this war is headed. We're looking at a state involvement in an Israel-Hamas war. Up until now, it was Israel uh, against Palestine, which is not even a recognized state by the international community. But with that April 1st attack of Israel on an Iranian consulate in Syria, which, uh, which uh, invited a lot of criticism from across the world, including the West, because consulates uh, and, and embassies uh, are not to be... Uh, uh, part of targets or attacked at any given point. Mm -hmm. And this happened in Damascus. So uh, Iran vowed to retaliate. Iran couldn't have sat uh, accepting uh, uh, an attack on um, a consulate and an embassy is considered the country's soil, on its soil. So uh, the fact that that happened on April 1st and we're waiting to see how Iran is going to retaliate, the retaliations have begun. We are given to understand that when the drones started uh, uh, being fired at Israel, because of the distance, like Ashutosh pointed out, it takes a while. And so Israel already knew that there were drones headed their way. There was absolute panic. You, uh, the, the visuals that we've been putting out clearly show the red alert, uh, the sirens going off, uh, people panicking in, and running into the streets and trying to take cover. Uh, but uh, the, the the drones managed to uh, breach the Israeli airspace only in some places, uh, particularly in one of the IDF ba air ba uh, IDF bases in southern uh, Israel. So right now, with conversations that are happening at the highest level, be it between Netanyahu and Biden, or for that matter, the War Cabinet uh, that is uh, that has assembled in 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 Tel Aviv. Uh, we are looking at a serious situation of escalation. The neighboring countries of Lebanon also have started uh, 
uh, or the Hezbollah particularly, particularly have backed those drone attacks with their own uh, uh, with their own strikes uh, uh, within well within Israeli territory. So, follow me. This is a major escalation, uh, and officially, uh, the first time Iran as a state, not through proxies, as a state, has entered the fray. We'll have to wait and see what the responses of uh, U.S., the U.K., all the uh, allies of Israel are mm -hmm. really, really going to be. And this at a time when they also are trying to gauge what the support of Russia and China is going to be for Iran, should right. there be an escalation. Nobody wants an escalation of a full, full uh, fledged Absolutely. war at this point in time. Absolutely. Geeta Mohan and Ashutosh, thank you so much for joining us with all of those uh, details. Uh, they're both tracking those developments extremely closely. Let's listen in to what Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had to say. Israel, in the last וביתר סט בשבועות האחרונים, ישראל נערכת לאפשרות של תקיפה ישירה מאיראן. מערכות ההגנה שלנו פרוסות. אנחנו ערוכים לכל תרחיש, הן בהגנה והן בהתקפה. מדינת ישראל חזקה, צהל חזק, הציבור חזק. אנחנו מעריכים את ההתייצבות של ארצות הברית לצידה של ישראל, וכן את התמיכה של בריטניה, צרפת ומדינות רבות אחרות. 